This employment law video is on race discrimination. How is race defined by our anti-discrimination laws? Race is defined as colour, nationality and ethnic or national origins. The definition is non-exhaustative though and has been held for example to include caste direct discrimination. It's unlawful for an employer to discriminate directly by treating a job applicant or employee less favourably because of race. An example of direct race discrimination could be for example where there are two candidates for a job and the prospective employer chooses a white candidate over a black candidate because the prospective employer believes that the white candidate would be a better fit within the organisation. Indirect discrimination. It's unlawful for an employer to discriminate by applying a practice provision or criterion that disadvantages job applicants or employees of a particular racial group without justification. An example of this type of discrimination could be for example where an employer has a policy not to recruit people who require a visa to work in the UK. This would be indirectly discriminatory against non-EEA nationals who would not be able to comply with this requirement. Applications should be based on merit and visa issues should only be considered at the latter stage of the process. Harassment. Harassment related to race is prohibited. It happens where a person engages in unwanted conduct related to race, which has the purpose or effect of violating someone else's dignity, or creates a hostile, intimidating, degrading, or offensive environment for them. A person could suffer harassment, for example, if someone tells a joke about someone's nationality or excludes someone from a social event because of their race. Victimization. Individuals must not be victimized because they have alleged discrimination, brought a discrimination claim, or given evidence or information in relation to discrimination proceedings. An example of victimization could be if someone raised a grievance outlining race discrimination and they were then transferred to another department as a result of raising the complaint. Bringing a claim. Prior to bringing a claim in the employment tribunal, it would be necessary to follow ACASs that's the Advisory Conciliation and Arbitrations Early Conciliation Process. It may often also be appropriate to have raised a grievance beforehand. Any claim must normally be filed in the Employment Tribunal within three months less a day from the Act of Discrimination. And that's subject to the Early Conciliation Rules for extending time. That's my video on race discrimination. The usual caveat is that this video is for guidance only and should not be relied upon for specific advice. For more information, do visit my website. And if you're interested in receiving notifications on other employment law videos, do subscribe to my channel.